Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube live broadcasting. God bless you, God bless your families. I hope everybody is okay. I hope you are okay guys because I'm having an okay day. So that means you have to have an okay day. <laughs> hope everybody is healthy and well. Thank you for joining in. Please subscribe destroy that like button and click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live like today now today's <clears throat> topic is islamic paganism muslims claim that uh, islam is an abrahamic religion boy oh boy today we are going to destroy that claim i have a really wonderful news guys to share with you uh, two days ago we did a gender reveal and God is good it, it turned out to be that I'm going to be a father of a baby boy so I'm, we're going to have a baby boy my wife and myself so God is good thank you Lord thank you for your blessings thank you for everything thank you for this very beautiful gift and blessing thank you lord so before we start guys i want to pray in the name of our lord and savior to thank him and ask him to be guided through today's live show so pray with me in the name of our lord and savior so we be, can be guided dear lord bless our beloved audience lord thank you for your grace and thank you for your beautiful gift and blessing. Thank you that I'm going to be a father of a healthy baby boy, me and my wife. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough, Lord. Without you, we can't do anything. And thank you for the amazing last year, Lord. Thank you for my lovely audience that always join us and support us. Thank you for our subscribers who kept supporting us day in, day out for the last year. Please bless them and bless their families. Please God, keep all of us healthy and safe in this very new year, 2020. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement, deception, taqiyya, lies or any doubt. Please Lord, help us on you in all our ways. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today so I can speak the truth without any shame or any error, Lord. We should not be ashamed of the truth, Lord. Please give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Welcome everybody, for the people who just joined in. As we mentioned, on this live broadcast, we will have the opportunity today to talk about the Islamic paganism. We're going to do some investigation and research together to find why Islam is nothing but a pagan cult. Last but not least, when I finish my teaching, we'll have a nice Q&A session with our guests in the live chat, like always. Hopefully, there will be also Muslims who will call us live on air, live on air. I will open up my Skype, so if there's a Muslim, you can call us live. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Again, my Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Maybe the admins can share this in the live chat. Welcome everybody, God bless you. Hello Tamara, hello Phil Herrera, our beloved admin, Road FFM, Miss Piggy, Malaysian Prophet, Hafza for Christ, Free Kakarota, uh, I think you're a Muslim troll, but you're welcome too. God bless you. May our living God open your eyes today and that you can find and see the proof that Muhammad was nothing but a pagan. And Islam is nothing but a pagan cult. Welcome, Simeon, Master Assassin, Frau, your moon god, Allah. Well, that, that nickname is actually very soothing today. 
Very, you know, you hit the nail on the coffin of Muhammad actually with that nickname. Uh, A. Sontoloyo, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Armina Sangma, Carrie Ann, Joshua Princess Warrior, welcome. We are blessed. Frank, Christian Dan, Ricky. There are many people, um, sorry if I did not mention your name. There are many of you. Thank you for your support. Let us start, guys. Islamic paganism, not Abrahamic, but Islamic pagan. Islamic paganism, that's the topic of today. I know we uh, did not do a live show for at least one week. Uh, as I said, we were really busy, my wife and I, with preparations. We invited our family uh, to celebrate the gender reveal with them and it turned out to be a very, very blessed day. We had a lot of fun together and my family are really happy. Uh, I'm, me and my wife are really thankful. We thank God for uh, this blessing. So I'm going to be a father of a baby boy. So I want to raise my drink. I have a small drink, guys. I have some liquor here. And I want to say salute. Cheers with you guys. I want to share this with you guys. So I want to drink on your health and the health of your children. Cheers. That was good. <laughs> so guys, let us start. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you for uh, saying congratulations. Thank you so much. Islamic paganism. That's the topic of today. And today's topic, today's live show is sponsored by Brada Farid, uh, who said in his Twitter feed uh, that sex and child marriage, sex with children and child marriage is okay if their parents say it's okay, brother. There's nothing wrong with child marriage in Islam, brother. Why? Because the Prophet did that, brother. So, you know, there's a Sunnah, brother. According to our scholars, and I quote, even if you have a baby, a girl, as a fetus in the womb of her mother, you can marry her. You can marry a baby girl who is a couple months old to become your wife. So there's nothing wrong with that, brother. That's Islam 101, brother. What's wrong with you, man? Rob Christian. That's Islam, brother. Don't, don't be stupid. Muslims, really? Are you insane? I really love this uh, background picture. Uh, it, it is made by um, or edited by a uh, beloved sister. Uh, you know her, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if she uh, likes to be mentioned, but she made this picture. I really liked to share it with you since brother Farid is our sponsor today, sponsoring this live show. Cheers, uh, brother Farid. Cheers. Thank you for telling us about the Sunnah of your uh, child molester prophet. <coughs> prophet. <coughs> message of love. Yeah, that's her. Yeah. Somebody mentioned message of love. She's really good, man. Look, look at those Photoshop skills, bro. God bless her. Um, so guys, don't forget also to uh, subscribe to her uh, YouTube channel. She always uploads our videos and other Christian apologist videos too. So if you like today's live show, guys, make sure to download our video, share it all around social media, because a lot of Muslims actually think that Islam is an Abrahamic religion without any proof, without any historical proof without any shame they say Islam is an Abrahamic religion like Christianity and Judaism which is a complete lie right and today we're going to prove that to you Zach Parker says quote unquote I'm an ex-Muslim Christian here wow God bless you my friend so you were a Muslim in the past and you became a Christian well hallelujah my friend welcome 
We have also our sister Hafsa for Christ, who is a daughter of an Imam. She used to be a Muslima and she became a Christian. So actually we have a lot of ex-Muslims who uh, became Christians. So it's a blessing to have you here too guys, welcome. Share the link of today's live show guys with your friends and families uh, and loved ones. Share it on social media, the truth must go out. Now Muslims, their Islamic God, his name is Allah. And Allah is actually a pre-Islamic moon idol. The pagan Quraysh of Mecca used to worship Allah, right? Allah. And he was the supreme pagan moon idol. And he had actually many uh, different nicknames. He's nothing but a fake dead moon idol. He's the supreme moon idol of the Arabs, right? The pagan Arabs. Like the father and mother and the uncles of Muhammad, the self-proclaimed prophet of Islam, right? Amina was a mushrika and she worshipped Allah, the pagan moon idol, the mother of Muhammad. Abdullah, right? The slave of Allah, Abd Allah, the slave of Allah, the father of Muhammad, used to worship Allah and his three bird idols, Allah, al uzza wal manad And there were actually many nicknames for this Allah. Hubal, Sin, if you go to the Quran, you'll see Ya Sin, they are invoking Ya Sin. So even the other nickname of Allah is in the Quran. And Baal, right? Etc. Many nicknames. So Muslims dare to claim that Allah is the same God of the Holy Bible, which is a complete lie. Complete lie. Our God's name is Jehovah. Jehovah, the I am. When Moses asked God, who should he tell who sent him? He said, the I am sent you. Tell them the I am sent you. So how, how did the living holy God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob of the Holy Bible, the Jehovah, the Jehovah, the, the I am, became suddenly Allah. How, how are you? Are you telling me that uh, God, uh, God forbid, this is an insult, changed his mind like the Islamic Allah who kept changing his mind, abrogating himself in the Quran over and over. Is that what you're trying to tell us? <laughs> God forbid, that's an insult. Our God does not change his mind, but the Islamic moon idol does over and over and over the nasikh wal mansukh right abrogation in islam actually allah is nothing but a kid like a kid in a candy store right who screams as at his mom mom i want a candy and then a couple seconds later he sees a bigger much delicious much more delicious candy and says no i want that one right so you know allah is nothing but a fake dead moon idol and in islam when muhammad actually adopted allah the pagan moon idol into islam and he used the same god he destroyed the rest of the 360 or let's say 359 idols and kept only allah right he kept only allah The Jews never worshipped Allah. The Christians don't worship Allah, right? So who is Allah? Any Muslim knows who is Allah is? Let me open up my Skype, guys. Maybe we will have a Muslim who will call us today. My Skype is open. <clears throat> my Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Maybe we can have an Imam or a Muslim. Shaykh or Ustaz uh, who can tell us and refute us about today's live show. Let us continue guys. So we can conclude, right? We can conclude that the living holy God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob of the Holy Bible is a totally different God. And on top of that, Jehovah, the I am, is father 
to mankind. Allah is certainly according to the Quran and Islam, not a father to anyone. Because if Allah was father, why would he punish you for your sins according to the, to the Muslims, according to the Islamic teaching, right? According to Muhammad. So Allah is certainly not a father, but our totally different living God is father to mankind. So that actually on itself proves that Allah is nothing but a pagan moon idol, right? Different God than the God of the Holy Bible. You Muslims have to deal with this. And we, we can actually explain it even more further for you. When we ask Muslims, what is Ilah? They say it means God. The word Ilah means God, simply the generic name uh, or word God, Ilah. Like Elohim, like El, Aloha, Aramaic, another dialect, Allaha. It means God. Ilahi, my God. Elahi, Eloheinu. This is Aramaic, Elahi, and Eloheinu is Hebrew. You see? My God, God, my God. But Allah, it does not mean God. It means it's the name of the Islamic God. It's the name that of that same pre-Islamic moon idol that Muhammad took and adopted into Islam. Do you have any Muslim who can refute this? Because we have at least one uh, dislike. That means we have at least one Muslim who can call us. Right? Anyone? <clears throat> no Muslims? Hmm. Uh, someone called me. Hmm. I think you are a Christian. Let me, you send me also. Guys, wait a second. Let me read what he sent me. I need your help. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, okay. Well, uh, my friend, if you know Muslims, just let them call me. I mean, my Skype is open. Let them call me, okay? Please, if you're a Christian, guys, hold your horses. Don't call me yet. Uh, to the Christians who are listening, you can call me uh, when we finish the teaching. And you can call me during the live Q&A session, okay? So, only Muslims can call for now, okay, guys? If you know Muslims, let, uh, invite them to call us, right? Goliath, Goliath, uh, the one who sent me a message, let them call me. We're alive. We're not hiding. <laughs> right? Guys, let us continue. <clears throat> Hopefully, Muslims will call us today. If we go to Surah Al-Baqarah, if we go to Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, the chapter of the cow, ayah 62, it says, Surely the believers and the Jews, the Nazarenes, which are according to the Muslims, the Christians, <clears throat> and the Sabians, whoever believes in Allah and the last day and whoever does right shall have his reward with his Lord and will neither have fear nor regret. So here, as you see, according to Muhammad here in the Quran, <laughs> according to Allah, we know Muhammad and Allah are the same guy. Uh, Jews, Christians, Sabians, all of them are believers, right? All of them are believers and all of them will be rewarded with Jannah, the gift of Jannah, brother. But wait, we understand that the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians, are believers. We understand it. But what about the Sabians, brother? The Sabians are star worshippers. How did the star worshippers suddenly became believers and they will be rewarded with, with the gift of Jannah? Sabians, and by the way, Muhammad was a Sabian actually. Muhammad himself was a Sabian, you know. So this is why he said it, right Muslims? So how is it possible? Guys, this is a one million dollar question to the Muslims. How did the Sabians who were star worshippers, I mean they were worshipping Constellations, right? Uh, stars in the skies. How did the star worshippers became believers in Islam? You tell me. I want to know Muslims. We have been asking these questions for the last 14 years. How did the Sabians become believers? 
how do, will they how will they be rewarded with the gift of Allah, which is Jannah? Sabians, star worshippers, brother? Yes, brother. Why? Because Muhammad told us so in the Quran. You see, there's nothing fishy going on, guys. Forget about this. There's nothing fishy going on. Move along, brother. Sit down and move along. Forget about this. Forget about it. <laughs> Star worshippers are believers in Islam, guys. Same as. Unbelievable. Muslims, really? Clearly, this is a book from God, guys. Suddenly, the Sabians, who are the star worshippers, they became believers and they will be rewarded with the gift of Jannah, right? The brothel of Allah. So you will have uh, Sabians, you will have Jews and Christians in the paradise of Allah. Haram, brother, haram. How did the star worshippers became believers? Muslims, you tell me. Still, I'm waiting for a Muslim to answer this question. Right? Guys, this is fishy because Muhammad tried to be friends with the Sabians, his own tribe. He tried to be friends with the Christians to convince them that Islam is the truth. And he tried his luck out again with the Jews. But the Christians rejected him, the Jews rejected him, and only the pagans accepted him. Sabians are pagans. So he tried his luck over and over, right? With his own tribe, with, his, with the Jews of Medina, but they all rejected him. This is why he wanted to, in the end, to expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabic Peninsula. Right? He even cut the trees down of Beni Nadir, who were Jews. He cut that, down their trees and he burned their trees. Their main life support. Because they used to eat from the fruits of their trees. Right? The Jews were farmers. What a disgusting evil person this guy is. Right? What a disgusting evil prophet, pagan prophet. I mean, why would you cut down trees of people? It was their main life support, right? That's the main thing that they used for eating. Why would you do that? Huh, Muslims? Anyway, and you know, there are many Muslims who say, Muhammad never cut down trees. You liars. <laughs> you liars. Never heard about the cutting down, down trees of Beni Nadir. Brother, I'm lying? You tried to call me? No, you didn't call me. Why are you lying? You didn't call me. I didn't receive any missed call. Give me your Skype ID, Abra. Abra Kadabra. Give me your Skype ID. Give me your Skype ID. Let me call you. I didn't have a missed call, so stop lying. You see, guys, I called you, brother. If you would have called me, I would have received a message, missed call or something. Truth, truth, truth. That's your... Uh... Okay, let me add you. Okay. There's nothing called truth, 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 you liar. <laughs> you liar. Look, guys. Nothing found. You liar. Guys, this, this guy is a troll. Forget about it. This guy is a troll. <clears throat> brother, my Skype ID is the truth, truth, truth. But I don't exist on Skype, brother. Surprise. Lie, lie, lie. Yeah, that's his nickname. Lie, lie, lie. Yeah. Disgusting liar, man. Anyway, guys, let us move on. Don't feed this troll. All right, don't feed this troll. People of the book, who are those guys? According to Islam, who are people of the book? Those are the Jews and the Nasara, the Christians. They call us the Nasara. We are not Nasara because Nasara were a sect. They were a cult. 
right? They, they were actually wiped out by Muhammad. They don't exist anymore. Show me one Arabic Christian from the Middle East who calls himself Nasara or Nasrani. There is no. We call ourselves Messiahiyin or Messiahiyun. Right? Right? Who are the Nasara? I have no idea. So let us continue. Some Muslim scholars disagree and they add, what else is new? <laughs> have you ever seen scholars in Islam who agree, guys? No. Right? So what else is new? They, they always disagree with one another and include also the Sabians and the Zoroastrians. Right? Those are also pagans and those are pagans. So they include to the people of the book, the, Jew, the Jews and the Christians, they, they also say the Sabians and the Zoroastrians are also people of the book, which is even more worse, which is even a much bigger dilemma. How can Sabians and Zoroastrians be people of the book while they are nothing but pagans? Right? And as we know, Muslims are the different kind of breed. The new worshippers of the Islamic moon idol Allah, the pagan Islamic moon idol, the Mohammedans, the Muslims. Sunni Muslims are around 85% and the Shia are around 15%. And there are many other small sects right that we left out because they are very small right so these are these two sects or cults or we'll call them whatever you want to call them are the biggest two sects or cults in islam and as we mentioned muhammad himself was a sabian right muhammad was called a sabi he was a Sabian. And we can conclude that Sabians were enemies of the Jews. This is why Muhammad hated the Jews. Muhammad actually hated the Jews. And because he's a Sabian, we know from historical evidence that the Sabians were one of the biggest enemies and they were persecuting Jews, they were the enemies of the Jews. This is why Muhammad hated Jews. Guys, take notes. Take notes. Take notes, guys. And Muhammad himself was a Sabian. And here Phil Horeira provided already the hadith for you. You can find that Muhammad was a Sabian. A Sabi, right? I, it's a long hadith, but you can check it out yourself. And you'll see that Muhammad was actually called a Sabi, right? What about Al Mecca, the city of Mecca? What about it? Can we maybe trace that name to somewhere? Yes, we can. Al Mecca, right? Or uh, or Al Muq, right? Al Mecca was the moon god of the ancient Yemeni kingdom. What, this is why Mecca is called Mecca of Saba. Uh, he was also worshipped in the kingdoms of Demt and Aksum in Eritrea and northern Ethiopia. al maqqa is considered a moon god. Do you see it, guys? This is why Mecca called Mecca. Right? This is why. And we told you already that Allah had many other nicknames. Hubal, Sain, Baal, right? And... Al Makkah is another nickname for Allah. Abracadabra, stop lying. You never called me, you liar. Shame on you, man. I already tried to add you and everybody saw it. Why are you lying, man? Shame on you, man. Do you have any dignity? Look. Truth, truth, truth. You do not you don't even exist. You do not exist on Skype, liar. I just pressed enter again. I don't. I can't find anyone by that nickname or by that Skype ID. Stop lying, you donkey! You troll, son of a troll! So, guys, Al Mecca, Mecca is the name of Mecca, the city that Muslims go to Hajj to, is actually derived from Al Mecca, which is nothing but the moon god, Allah, Hubal, 
seen many nicknames. Right? But brother, wait brother. Muhammad was a prophet. He made a prophecy and the prophecy is going to be fulfilled. Muhammad made a prophecy. Arabs will compete in construction of tall buildings. Which is a lie. Right? Which is a lie because that's not what the Sahih Hadith of Bukhari and Sunan Ibn Majah says in the Arabic. But anyway, let it go, guys. What about the Arabs that used to live in Petra? They already constructed tall buildings much, much earlier than Muhammad ever was born. So this is nothing but a false prophecy, right? Petra, this is Jordan, today's Jordan, guys. The Arabs, right, the Nabataeans, right, already constructed tall buildings. Stupid prophecy, man, exactly. It's not even a prophecy. But brother, Muhammad said so, brother. Well, your prophet, your Muhammad was a liar. Arabs already built tall buildings much before Islam, as you see, and the proof is in front of you. Last time I checked, Jordan is Northern Arabia, it's still called Arabia, right? Petra, this is Petra, guys. And I think you uh, maybe have seen the Dan Gibson uh, documentary, right? A lot of evidence, you know, I, I really didn't do much research on that topic, you know, that actually the earliest mosques, the oldest mosque used to point, the Qibla used to <laughs> point the direction to Petra, but that's topic for another time, guys. All right, so this is a false prophecy, brother, because the Arabs, much before Islam, much before Muhammad, much earlier, your prophet was not even born and the Arabs were already constructing tall buildings. Guys, can, can someone uh, silence this troll for a second? This Abra Kadabra? Even his nickname is a, is a troll nickname. I'm trying to call you brother Rob. No, you are not. You liar. You don't even exist on Skype. Stop lying. Shame on you. But what, what else is new? Do Muslims actually have shame when they use taqiyya? No. But brother, Muhammad was truly a prophet and he was a doctor of his time. Dr. Prophet Muhammad had a mental problem? Someone actually sent me this and I wanted to share this with you. What kind of prophet is this? Allah has sent Muslims a hell of a prophet, brother. Muhammad said the following. The people asked the messenger of Allah, can we perform evolution? Out of the well of Buddha, which is a well in to which menstrual clothes of women with blood, menstrual blood filled of <laughs> clothes filled with menstrual blood, dead dogs, and stinking things were thrown in. Can we do that? Do evolution in that water that have dead animals, dead dogs in it, blood of women, and stinking. Garbage things? Muhammad replied, and I quote, Water, the water is pure and is not defiled by anything. Sahih hadith, brother. Sunnah Nabi Daud, hadith number 66. This must be a true prophet, brother. Muhammad said so, so that means it's, it must be true, brother. And you know what Muslims do when they do evolution, right guys? They put water in their nose, they put water in their mouth. I mean, imagine what kind of disgusting viruses and bacteria you will get from water that has dead blood in it, garbage, and dead animals, dead dogs, guys. Clearly, the water is still pure, brother. Go and wash yourself, do evolution in this water. Why? Because Muhammad said so, brother. Uh -huh. Really Muslims, you still believe that Muhammad was a prophet? This proves actually that Muhammad is nothing but a liar. He was having jokes. 
He was telling jokes and you Muslims 1400 years ago actually believed in his nonsense, in his crap, literally crap. Really? This is life, brother. No, it's Sahih, brother. <laughs> Look at this Muslim man. Oof, oof, oof. Look, she, she, she says this. This is stinking, man. Really? Look at this Muslim, brother. <laughs> <coughs> yeah guys really I mean really Muslims this is a prophet I challenge any Muslim to call me right here right now my Skype is open <coughs> think about it guys doing evolution putting water of dead dogs in your mouth <coughs> try not to vomit <coughs> Man, the idea only, you know. True story, brother, because Muhammad said so, brother. Guys, since Muslims actually claim, since ex Muslims actually claim that Muhammad is a prophet, we can destroy him by using the Quran. How, brother Rob? Well, here, chapter 5 of the Quran, ayah 47. It says, and let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. In what? In the gospel, in the Injil. But wait a second. Wait a second. If Christians must judge by the Injil, right? We are the people of the gospel, right? If we Christians judge by the gospel, we have to reject Muhammad. We have to reject Islam and we have to reject Allah because our gospel contradicts Islam Muhammad and Allah right and then it continues and whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed therein then it's it is those who are the deviantly disobedient so we are actually disobedient guys we are deviant and we are disobedient if we don't judge by the gospel so thank you Muhammad for busting yourself in the Quran telling the and commanding the Christians to judge by the gospel. So if we have to judge by the gospel, we have to reject you as a prophet because you're nothing but a false prophet. You're a liar, you're a scammer, your religion is scam, Islam is scam, and Allah himself is a dead idol. Bam! You guys use this ayah in the chapter 5. Chapter 5, ayah 47. Use it. Bookmark it, make a screenshot, take a screenshot, take a snapshot. Do what you have to do. Use this in your debates, guys. Learn from this. Take notes. All right? Any Muslim? Do you have any Abdul? Thank you, Carrie Ann. God bless you, sister. Thank you for your donation. She says, and I quote, Thank you for your teaching and congratulations on your son. Thank you so much, Carrie Ann. God bless you. God bless your loved ones and families. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. And if we continue, guys, if we go to chapter 29, Surat Al-Ankabut, the spider, right? Al-Ankabut, the spider. Chapter 29, Ayah 27, we can read the following. And we gave... To him, to who? Abraham, right? Abraham. We gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and placed in his descendants prophethood and scripture. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, we found another disaster in the Quran. What? Prophethood for who? The blood of Isaac and Jacob. Where is Ishmael? I think Muhammad forgot to mention Ishmael. Wow, Zukmiri, my friend, thank you so much. Thank you for your donations. God bless you. Guys, I, this, is, this is too much. But thank you. God bless you. We appreciate it. God bless your families. Thank you for your donations. Wow. So guys, as you see, this ayah is another disaster that Muhammad created in the Quran. I think Muhammad here forget to mention the name of Ishmael, since Muslims claim that Muhammad comes from the line of Ishmael. 
You see here, Muhammad busted himself. Since he mentioned Isaac, the prophethood comes from Isaac, and he continues with Jacob. Wait, where is Ishmael and his sons? Right, because here it continues with the blood of Isaac, and then it goes further with Jacob. So here Ishmael is left out, guys. Did you catch it, guys? Did you catch it? Thanks, Sukhmidik, my friend. God bless you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your congratulations. Where is uh, Ishmael? Where is Kedar? Where are, where are they? Why are they not mentioned as prophethood, as prophets? I think he, Muhammad forgot to mention it. So this is clear proof that Ishmael has nothing to do with prophethood. And that's true, even according to the Bible. Ishmael was not a prophet. His blood, his offsprings were not prophets because the story starts with Isaac and it continues with Jacob, right? My covenant said our holy God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, my covenant will be with Isaac and Isaac only. Oops, Muslims, you have to deal with this. It's mentioned in your Quran, as you see, and it's mentioned in our Holy Bible. The contract, the covenant that God made with Abraham what is, was with his son Isaac and the descendants of Isaac. So every prophet must come from the blood of Isaac, not Ishmael. And Muhammad took it, copied it, and he put it in the Quran, as you see. Copy, paste. This is copy, paste. Wow. Someone is saying, that's a shame. Can Muhammad ever do anything correctly? What a loser and a failure. Yeah, well, that's Islam, my friend. That's the prophet of Islam 101. Whenever Muhammad spoke, he contradicted himself. Whenever he fabricated an ayah in the Quran, he busted himself. Right? Do we have any Muslim guys? Do we have any Muslim? Is there any Muslim who wants to call us live and maybe refute us? Hello? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. <clears throat> Man, icing is so weird. Any Muslim? No, no Muslims. Okay, let us continue, guys. I found this picture online. And it says, all this time the Arab tribes were divided. Each worships its own idol. And guys, as we mentioned, there are there used to be 360 idols in the Kaaba, in the early Kaaba. And this was not the only Kaaba in Mecca, right? And we told you that the name of Mecca is derived from the other nickname of Allah, al Mecca, right? Who is another nickname for Allah, Hubal. Many nicknames. Sin, as mentioned in the Quran. Sin, ya yeah, Sin. Another nickname for Allah, the supreme pre-Islamic moon idol. But they all honored the house of Allah, right? The house of Allah. All the pagans honored the house of Allah. Muhammad simply copied this ritual and he put it in Islam. Copy paste again. Right? They claimed it was built by Father Abraham and his son Ishmael, which is a lie. Abraham and his even his son Ishmael never went to Mecca. Mecca didn't even exist. Show me, show me a map of in the time of Abraham, or show me any direction of in a map that Abraham went to Mecca. I challenge you. One historical map, or one historical map from any outside source that shows us that Mecca existed in the time of Muhammad even. Anyway. Inside the Kaaba, there were 360 idols, as we mentioned. Behind each one was a powerful demon, causing no end of problems. So there, all these idols were nothing but demons, right, that they worshipped. 
Demon idols. Allah is Satan himself. The pre-Islamic Allah. This is why the name, the so-called uh, father of Muhammad. We don't believe Muhammad actually knew his father. No one knows the real name of Muhammad's father. They claim it's Abdullah. But wait, how is the name of Muhammad's father, Abdullah, slave of Allah? Well, according to Muhammad, both his parents, Amina and Abdullah, are burning in hellfire. That doesn't make sense, right Muslims? Since both parents of Muhammad, Amin and Abdullah were worshippers of the pagan Allah and they are burning in hellfire, that means that Islam is nothing but a pagan cult because Muhammad took Allah that already existed as a pagan moon idol, supreme pagan moon idol and made it the so-called God of Islam. Muhammad never brought anything new. Muhammad didn't bring anything new. Everything he told about already existed and he was accused over and over. Even in the Quran, in at least three ayahs, you are stealing Asatir al awwalin you are stealing legend stories, you are, you are nothing but a mad poet, Majnoon, madman, Majnoon, someone who is possessed by jinn and we know Muhammad was possessed by jinn and we know that he was under black magic possession the possessed prophet of Islam do we have any Muslim who wants to call we are live you can call us live on air my Skype ID is the Rob Christian so guys the Kaaba is nothing but a pagan house, the house of Allah, the pre-Islamic moon idol, the supreme pre-Islamic moon idol, the house of Allah. Pagan. Pagan. And we know that in this pagan house of Allah, his three bird idol daughters, Allat, Al-Uzza, wal Manat, the pre-Islamic bird idols, the high cranes, the bird idols, they could fly. Why could they fly? Because the pagans of Quraysh, the pagan Meccans, they, when they prayed, guys, pay attention. When the pagans of Mecca prayed, these bird idols, the daughters of Allah, carried the prayers all the way to the supreme moon idol, Allah. Right? And Muhammad actually bowed down to Allah al uzza wal manat these are the high cranes the mighty cranes and their intercession is hoped for said Muhammad when he delivered the satanic verses to the pagan Quraysh of Mecca right that used to be in the Quran right chapter 53 between 19 and 21 the satanic verses used to be in the Quran but Muslims removed them let us continue so Islam or Muslims they claim that tawaf and sacrifice started with Abraham what I challenge you to find me any outside source any non Islamic source that Abraham used to go around the Kaaba seven times. That's blasphemy. That's an insult to our holy living God of the Bible. God forbid. Imagine what the holy living God of the Bible would have done to Abraham if Abraham circled seven times around the pagan Kaaba. You know what Allah would, oh sorry, you know what God of the holy Bible would have done to Abraham if Abraham would have done that? <laughs> God of the Holy Bible in the story of Abraham and Lot he destroyed two major cities right in the form of and in the shape of Sodom and Gomorrah so what do you think what the living God would have done to Abraham God forbid if Abraham circled around the pagan Kaaba you see how Muslims actually insult Abraham guys when they say Abraham did that <laughs> Islam is jokes man, 
Islam is 